What's up everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll address the Stabilitrack and ABS warning lights being on in a 2014 and newer Chevy Impala. I'll show you why they're on and how to fix it. I'll be showing this specifically on a 2014 Chevy Impala, but the setup is the same for the 2014 and newer Impala and Malibu, and this may be helpful for other makes and models as well. Before I get started, be sure to subscribe for more how-to and review videos. Now, let's get started! The ABS and Stabilitrack systems require that the computer knows the wheel speed of all four wheels independently. For this purpose, each wheel has a speed sensor. The sensor is integrated with the wheel bearing, which is what the wheel rotates on, to monitor the wheel speed. Here's an animation to show how the wheel speed sensor functions. Note, this is not an Impala wheel, but I already had it drawn up in CAD. So we'll use it for convenience. I have roughly fitted it with a representation of an Impala wheel bearing and sensor. Also, note that for simplicity there are no brake components shown, just the wheel, the wheel bearing, and the speed sensor. As the wheel rotates, the inner race of the wheel bearing rotates with it. On the back side of the wheel bearing is a magnetic encoder ring with radial lines, which rotates with the wheel. The stationary sensor monitors the passing radial lines on the magnetic encoder ring and as the wheel rotates, the sensor, measuring the number of lines that pass over a period of time, allows the system to know the speed of each wheel. If the ABS or Stabilitrack warning lights are on, there's likely something wrong with the speed sensor system at one of the wheels. If you have access, a scan tool can be used to pinpoint which speed sensor is not working. This will help you diagnose the problem faster. First, check over the wiring that runs to the sensor. It'll run from the main harness up to the sensor in the wheel housing. Here's the actual sensor, which is connected to the end of the wire. If a damaged or broken wire is identified, this is likely the issue, and it can be replaced. If there are no issues with the wire sensor, move your focus to the magnetic encoder ring on the inside of the wheel bearing. You may be able to clear the warning lights by cleaning the encoder ring. It may be packed with dirt or debris. A couple of years ago when the warning lights were on, I jacked up the car and sprayed the encoder rings down with cleaner, then wiped it down as I rotated the wheel. The little black piece is the sensor. Note that brake cleaner is an easy go-to, but brake cleaner is bad for rubber and plastic. I use the Smash Airflow sensor cleaner because I had it laying around. It's safe for electronics and plastic. Seemed like a better choice to me. I think it's rare that this will solve the issue, but it worked for me once. This time the issue is a damaged encoder ring on the wheel bearing, which is likely the most common problem. Let's remove the wheel bearing. Note that wheel bearings don't typically come out this easy, including this one. This is the end of the process. I have endured many sledgehammer marathons with wheel bearings. However, for the last couple, I've used an effective method to remove them easily. As a result, this one was not a battle. I'll post up a bearing removal video in the future. Looking at the encoder, a large portion of it has broken off, which is why the sensor cannot detect the wheel speed, and the remaining portion is in rough, deteriorated condition. Here's the new wheel bearing. My personal preference is Timken. They have been making bearings for a long time, and I have installed 8 or 9 Timkins with no failure so far. Here's the encoder on the new wheel bearing. Looking good. Now let's get the new wheel bearing installed and get everything buttoned back up. Safety first, always support the floor jack with jack stands. I used two to overachieve. All set, time to take it for a ride. The ABS and Stabilitrack warning lights will turn off on their own once the problem is corrected. No reset tool or procedure is required. And boom, there it is. Warning lights off, problem solved. The warning lights turned off after about 30 seconds of driving, in which time I covered about a quarter mile. So that wraps up this video. Share your experience in the comments. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Drop any comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Everything's on and...